Hey guys, Red Panda Mining here. Hope you're all having a good day. Uh, back with another video. I'm going to show you guys how to mine uh, the Ethereum Gangnam testnet uh, using the ProgPow, uh, Prog Miner. Um, so, to start off with, uh, I have some, some instructions here I wrote down. Uh, so, first, you want to go to the developer.nvidia.com to download the CUDA Toolkit 10.0. Um, so yeah, you want to download, if you're using Windows, obviously you do the Windows version, uh, Windows 10, uh, I did the uh, EXE network installer, um, download that, give it an install, it's gonna, I'm not gonna install it because I have it installed already, but it's gonna take about 30 minutes to an hour depending on your internet connection, it's, it's a really big download guys and it takes a while, so uh, yeah, just be aware of that. But in the meantime, once you get that installed, um, uh, step three, step four, so we can go to the uh, Gangnam uh, wallet testnet, uh, which I got here already. Um, so you got to create your own, you should create your own uh, wallet. So we're going to do that now. Uh, just whatever this is a test, create wallet. Uh, understand continue don't need to print it you guys can see my key how would you like to access your wallet uh, yeah select wallet uh, select wallet file you got it here already this is a test unlock and we're in guys we got our ethereum address Gangnam ethereum address uh, on the test net uh, so <laughs> as you can see get account balance zero um, so yeah you guys will need this for your batch file that you're gonna be putting in um, into the prog miner uh, so next you want to download the uh, prog miner the gangnam test net prog miner on github uh, which I got here um, so depending which which version um, I'm using the Nvidia one so it's the Progminer-1.0.2 CUDA 10 version. Let's download that. Uh, I've downloaded it. I've downloaded it like a million times already, but just to show you guys, uh, 7-zip. You gotta extract it. Uh, there it is. Go here. Okay, so now you want to create your um, batch file. So I got the exact batch file here, progminer.exe-p stratum, and with yeah, you got to put in your uh, Gangnam uh, ETH wallet address. So I got it here, you go back, copy that, uh, you paste it here. Oh, I should be doing this in an actual batch file, so uh, here, I have one already here, copy. Paste. Okay, so you go to your batch file, edit that. Um, since I made a new address, I'm gonna put a new address for the sake of the video. Uh, there it is. Uh, dot, and then you just put in any name that you want. I just put red p for red panda, and then at testnet.progpool.pro. So where to get this information to is also on the the website uh, testnet.progpool.pro website. Um, you can download, there's a download link to download uh, the prog miner there to the github and then below that shows how to put it in, address, worker as well. Um, so yeah, you guys put your address in there, hit save. Now let's run it guys, so I'm just going to minimize everything. So just to show you guys, um, uh, existing wattage right now is 45-ish watts and the two cards that I'm using today are the GTX 1070 uh, from Zotac and the EVGA 1070 Ti uh, for the Win 2 edition. Um, so yeah, uh, I'm gonna try out first the uh, power limit at around 70 uh, core clock plus 50, memory plus 50, um, with the 1070 Ti, same thing, power limit 70, 
core clock 50, mem clock 600. Uh, we can play around with it later. Um, now let's turn it on and try it. Done compiling, generating DAG. Okay, yeah, it looks like, yeah, it's accepting some shares. Oh, as you guys can see, the wattage has boosted up to 340. So minus the 43 watts, I'm using about 300 watts for the cards right now. Getting around 15 mega hash per card. 1070 is getting 14.96 mega hash and the 1070 Ti is getting 15.48. That's pretty cool. Um, so now if you want to see the results, uh, you go to the progpow testnet.progpool.pro, go to miners and you start should start seeing your miner there. Uh, just to verify, what was my address again? It was the 321.c1. Um, so if we go back here, yeah, so my address is, is showing up here. And you can see red P showing up, 3.17 mega hash. So it'll take, it'll take probably uh, like 30 minutes or so for it to average out, showing exactly how much um, uh, mega hash will it'll be on the, on the website. It'll take a bit. Um, but let's see how many blocks I can find, guys. Um, whoa, I found six blocks already? Whoa! Guys, I'm gonna have like tons of Ethereum here. It's gonna be awesome. So I'm gonna let this run for a while and uh, I'll cut the video. Bring it back in a bit. See you guys. Take like 30 minutes or so. All right, guys, so it's been, you know, 30 minutes or so. And as you can see, my my hash rate on the pool is showing 28.58 mega hash. Uh, so it's pretty much almost there. Um, uh, it's accepting a lot of shares, 54 blocks found. I haven't gotten paid, I haven't gotten any payments yet. Uh, but it should maybe pretty soon it looks like a, every interval every every hour every two hours or so uh, so we don't get to see a huge ass payment <laughs> that's okay um, but anyways guys yeah so uh, just to end off with the video I'm gonna play around with the power limits here so let's, let's try 80 power limit on the 1070 Ti and the 1070 and let's see how much more it goes up. 14.45. So it didn't go, oh yeah, it's gone up a bit. 0 0.5, 0 0.4, 0 0.5 mega hash. And the wattage has gone up 40 watts. So minus 43, so around 340-ish, 340 340 340-ish, 340 watts. That's a lot. And we're getting... The 1070 Ti mega hash didn't go up at all. I want to try... Uh, let's go back, let's go back. I want to try uh, 60. See what that does. I don't think that's going to... I think that's going to bring it down a lot, actually. Pretty cool, guys. This is pretty cool. Miners, payments. Blocks found. No payments yet. Uh, there's another guy on here with 13 or 15 mega hash. I wonder if this is uh, Bitsby tripping. I wonder if Carter got it working. Uh, 
Okay, so with the power limit down to 60, the mega hash dropped down to 13.58 and 13.9 for the 1070 Ti. So I think the sweet spot for these cards is around 70. 70 mega hash as I tested before. Uh, 340 watts. So about 140, 150 watts per card. Not too bad. All right, that's to end off the video, guys. Um, please like and subscribe. Let me know what you guys think down below. I have this all information in the description. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.